Good morning, everybody. Happy Vlogmas day eight. Yesterday was actually Vlogmas day seven and I did not vlog at all because I was honestly just so swamped with work. I didn't even have time to open my advent calendars. And I also didn't have time to post my Vlogmas day five and six upload, which I just posted just now. And it was me being a little sad. So I'm honestly nervous to see what people are going to say about it, but I am feeling better today. I think that the situation that I've been dealing with has had its ups and downs. So like there are some days where I just feel good. And then there are some days where I'm still struggling a little bit. So today is thankfully a good day. I've been productive so far. I've pretty much just been working this morning, but I also did a really long workout, which felt very good. I am still in pajamas though. So at some point I am going to have to actually get ready for the day and pop on some makeup, but we're not there yet. But I do have have a meeting in about an hour. So I am going to open up my advent calendars and see if there's maybe a coffee that I can make and drink it while I'm in my meeting. So let's see what we've got. Like I said, I did not open up day seven yet. So I'm just going to open that right now. Day seven is vanilla bean. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have drank a couple of flavors that I did not show on camera, but I had another vanilla one. I don't remember exactly what it was. That one just tasted like coffee to me. I didn't taste the flavor. To be totally honest, I feel like I do not really taste vanilla vanilla in coffee. I don't know why. And then I also had the Bananas Foster Flambe one. That was incredible. Honestly, it was like, I, I feel like this has been happening to me a lot recently, but it's like the first sip I was like, oh, this is disgusting. But then I was like, wait, this is actually delicious. And it actually tasted exactly like banana, like it tasted like banana bread, but with coffee. Like if you just had a bite of banana bread and you washed it down with coffee, that's what it tasted like. So here's day number eight. Pick a date. <laughs> and this one is chocolate raspberry truffle. This is definitely gonna be the one I'm drinking today because that sounds incredible. I love chocolate. I love raspberry. I love truffles. So <laughs> let's also open the Cadillac or advent calendar. By the way, I am wearing a new nail polish color. I ended up putting on the China Glaze. I think it's called Pure Imagination from the Willy Wonka collection because I, I just needed purple in my life. And I gotta say, it's definitely made me happy. <laughs> Day seven first, let's see what's in here. This one is called True Friends Are Hard To Come By. And this is actually a thermal. Ooh, okay, so looking at it right now, it's actually this super deep base, but then we have a golden, almost like greenish kind of shimmer running throughout. So excited to see what this one looks like in its other color state. This is definitely the cold state. And then we've got Day number eight. This one's called, It Wasn't Just a Puppy. I don't, I don't know these references. Oh my gosh, I, I'm a bad film major. I don't know a lot of movies, but this one's stunning. This is like a gray base, but we've got iridescent flecks in it that are pink and copper and orange. And oh my goodness, this is like the classic type of Cadillac or polish that I love. So I'll probably wear this one next because it's very beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to check the comments on that video and I'm a little nervous about it. Like like I said, but I just feel bad because I feel like, I don't know, am I on the same trajectory as I was last Vlogmas? I feel like it was all starting to happen right during Vlogmas last year and that's why I couldn't continue it. But now I'm just like, I don't know, already complaining in Vlogmas and I feel bad about it, but we'll see what people say. And then I will make my delicious, hopefully delicious chocolate raspberry truffle coffee. So I will report back. Hello, it is now Vlogmas Day 9. <laughs> I did mean to do this yesterday, but after I vlogged the morning for you guys, I had a really long meeting. And then after that, I was kind of behind on work stuff. So I just ended up kind of grinding for the rest of the day. But today I'm finally gonna show you my Black Friday haul. I actually did not buy that much this year. In fact, I only bought from one place, but I did get a few exciting things in PR. So I figured I could just do like one big haul together. So I actually got PR from Killstar, which honestly, I am so still in shock about. If you don't know, it's a, an alternative clothing store. And I have actually done a haul on my main channel of Killstar stuff that I've purchased before, but they reached out. They wanted to send me a few things. So of course I said, yes. So I'll show you that first. So I got a few items of clothing here. I did just try them all on and they all fit. So that's great. But I'll also show you a little try on of each one. But I tried to get stuff that I felt like I wouldn't normally get just because I don't know, I feel like I get stuck in these ruts where I don't want to try anything new. So I did get a couple of new things. So you'll have to let me know what you think of them. So let me show you my favorite first. This is 
Do they have names? This is the Glisten long sleeve dress. And oh my gosh, I fell in love with it when I saw it on the website. And I was like, I don't know that this would look good on me, but I wanted to try it anyway. And I'm so glad that I did because I actually love the way it looks. And this is a dress. It's actually kind of sheer. So I am trying it on with a slip under it, which I feel like I could get away with not wearing a slip because there is like a skirt part sewn in. But just for the sake of YouTube, I am going to <laughs> keep the slip on. But this is the most stunning dress. Oh my gosh. It's got this like skeleton pieces pattern on it. It's got a high neck. We have these really interesting like ruched sleeves that have a little bit of like a puff at the shoulder. And they're also really long, which I've talked about it before, but I have incredibly long arms. So it is hard for me. Sorry, there's a bunch of kids playing right outside. <laughs> so if you hear any screaming, that's what that is. It is a very beautiful day out. But yeah, this is super stunning. It's like making me feel like I am a vampire queen. It's actually pretty long, but it is shorter in the front than it is in the back. So I don't know. It's just like such a dramatic gothy vibe that I just cannot get over. So I really love it. I'm really excited to wear it. Ugh, it's just such a vibe. And I actually loved that so much that I ended up getting these leggings that are the same pattern. This is called the mandible leggings. It is the same like little skeleton pieces. It's kind of like the, I don't know, pelvic area of a skeleton that's covered in cobwebs. So it's just a really cute design and the material is super comfy. I don't know what it is, but it kind of feels like yoga pants material. You know, sometimes like Leggings are like not stretchy and don't have any give, but these ones absolutely do. And it also does say kill star in it. And these are not sheer. So <laughs> they're very good for wearing as leggings and you don't have to worry about wearing a super long shirt over them. So another super cute one. I wear leggings like 99% of the time. I'm wearing leggings right now, actually. I actually did get another pair of leggings and this was another one that I was like, I, I feel like this was out of my comfort zone, but I wanted them so badly. These are the senior prom leggings leggings from their collab with Carrie, which we'll talk about Stephen King a little bit more later. But if you didn't know this, I am a huge Stephen King fan. I actually don't love Carrie. It's not my favorite book of his, but I just really wanted to get them. So <laughs> these are the Carrie leggings. They say Carrie down one side and they also are like dripping blood, which I think looks so cool. And I don't know what this material is, but I was nervous to wear it. Let me see if it says, does it say what this is? This is polyurethane. So so it is like, I, I don't know, it kind of looks like a, like a pleather kind of material. And I thought these were going to be very hard to wear, but they actually do have like a good amount of stretch to them. So I can move my legs around easily, which I was very surprised by, but I will say it felt like I was like vacuum sealing myself into them. So it was an interesting experience getting them on. But once I had them on, I was actually pretty pleased with how they felt. It feels a little bit like like Halloween decor that you hang up, like it the, the feeling of it. It's kind of like this plasticky feel, but I feel like that's also very flattering once it's tight to your body. It just like looks very cool. I don't know how to explain it, but I am glad I got them. Again, very much out of my comfort zone, but I think they're really cute. And then I got another dress. This one is called the Archaic Dress. And this was another one. It wasn't totally out of my comfort zone, but it was very slightly out of my comfort zone. It's a velvet dress, but what's interesting about it is it has this very square neckline to it, which I have never worn anything like that before. And I was worried that it was going to be very unflattering on me, but I thought it looked so pretty on the website. So I did grab it and I think it's so cute. I feel like it does make my chest look smaller, which I'm actually very pleased about because I feel like I have a fairly big chest, but I'm always trying to kind of like hide it a little bit. So I really like the way that this neckline looked on me. And I also just thought it was really cute. The sleeves are a little bit puffed at the end and they are actually decently long. So they did go up to my wrist, which I was impressed by, but I also thought it was cute to pull up the sleeves and it's kind of just like a midi dress. So it's very flattering. It does flare out. So it's not form fitting to the body. So I feel like, I don't know, it's just another cute vibe. And I've been really into velvet lately for some reason. I'm just always wanting to wear velvet clothes because they just look very luxurious and they feel great. <laughs> so another one slightly out of my comfort zone, but I'm glad I got it. I feel like that's the theme of the day. <laughs> but I also did get a shirt that's just like a very classic shirt that I would get. And that is this one. It is called the Willa 
long sleeve top. And this is a, I don't want to say cropped because it just goes right up to my leggings, but it is on the shorter side. It's a black long sleeved asymmetrical shirt and one arm and a little bit of the front has this really interesting sheer pattern on it that kind of looks ripped up. And it's also incredibly soft. I don't know why, but I love the way that it feels. And it has thumb holes. Just so you know, this one is a little bit wrinkled because it was in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like this is so cute. This is definitely my kind of style and it's definitely something that I would wear a lot and I love this one sleeve. I think it's so interesting. I feel like because it's super sheer, you're probably supposed to not have a bra strap, but I, I don't mind the way that bra straps look in stuff like this. I feel like if anything, it just kind of adds to the design. So I don't mind the way that that looks, but yeah, another super cute top. And then I got a couple of accessories. I was so excited about this one. This is actually a purse. It's called the Myth Handbag. So here's what it looks like. It literally looks just like a hardcover book and I think it's so cool. It's got this giant crescent moon on it. It does have a snap open, but it's also a zipper closure and it does have a long strap. So I would probably just wear it as a crossbody bag, but I have been wanting to start wearing a very slightly bigger bag. I usually just wear a fanny pack. So this for me is decently big. So hopefully I can actually fit all of my stuff in this. <laughs> <laughs> because I definitely can't fit it all in my little fanny pack, but I think this is adorable. I cannot wait to start using it. I'll probably fill it up today or tomorrow. I think this is so cute. Let me pop the straps on. Also, you probably know this about me, but I'm very much a silver jewelry person. So I feel like it's weirdly hard to find a black bag that has silver hardware on it. So that was another reason why I liked it, but I think I mostly just like it because it looks like a book. Oh, and by the way, it does have these little feet. So you can sit it upright. So here's with the strap. It's super adorable. Ah, oh, I love it. And then the last thing they sent me is actually a stuffed animal. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have a ton of stuffed animals on this bed over here. This guy, oh my gosh, <laughs> he's so cute. He's like a little Two-Face stuffed animal. Let me see what his name is. It's a, uh, I don't know if his name is Relic or if that's the type, but it says Duplexity relic. So he definitely has some duplexity to him. Half his face is like this pleather material and he's got a little horn. And then this half is a little skeleton. Here he is. <laughs> he will live on the bed with my other stuffed friends. So that's all the stuff from Killstar. Now let me show you the books because that that's actually the stuff that I bought. I kind of went a little crazy at Barnes & Noble. We actually went to the physical store because I was looking online. I saw a ton of books on sale that I wanted. And then we went to the store and they were not on sale in the store, which was so dumb. So ended up ordering them. <laughs> but yeah, so I've talked about it before, but it's been a long time. So basically the way that I buy books is I read books from the library and then I rate my books on Goodreads. So all of the books that are five stars are, or some of them are four stars, are books that I would read again. And if they're books that I want to read again, then I will buy them to support the author and, you know, be able to reread them. <laughs> so that is all of these books. I believe I gave five stars on Goodreads and they're all books that I really enjoyed. So let me start off with the romance novels because I bought a bunch of those and I'm not gonna lie almost all of them are by Emily Henry so here's the ones that I got I got The Hating Game by Sally Thorne which I love this book I love Enemies to Lovers and I think that this is the best Enemies to Lovers book so incredible I've read it a couple of times I finally have a copy of it and I'm so excited I did watch the movie I didn't love it because I feel like the book has well I mean everybody always says the books are better than the movies but this one I really Really do think that the book has so much context that was needed for it. So love this book. Absolutely recommend it. It was on sale, but it wasn't that much on sale, but the other ones were. And then the three Emily Henry books I got were Beach Read. This was the first Emily Henry book that I read and I loved it. I actually read this while I was on vacation in the Bahamas. So I did read it on the beach, but I thought it was super cute. Again, kind of like, and not like an enemies to lovers, but kind of a rivals to lovers situation. You will find that all of my favorite books are enemies to lovers or some variation of, but yeah, I really want to reread it. So I did pick this one up. I also got Book Lovers because 
This was another one that I loved. This is, I think this is the only romance book that I read where the main character and the love interests are not interested in having kids. And as a person who does not want children, I feel like it's really disheartening that 99% of romance novels have an epilogue where the main character is pregnant because I don't think that that needs to be everybody's happy ending. Some people can just have happy endings without having kids. So it was very nice representation. So I thought this was a really great book though. I loved the kind of twist on the stereotype of like city girl going to like a cutesy town and falling in love kind of situation. So very, very cute book. And then I also grabbed her most recent book, Happy Place, which I feel like a lot of people did not like this book. It's kind of a second chance romance book and it's split between the past and the present. I feel like a lot of people said that this wasn't very big on the romance, but this book broke my heart. I feel like I cried the whole time I was reading it because I just kind of ached for the main character and I felt so terrible for how she was feeling. And I don't know, it just spoke to me. So I did grab it, it was half off. So had to get it. <laughs> I did get two other books that are not romances. I feel like I don't read that much romance, but this was the year that I was like, I'm gonna pick up all the romance books that I have. But I do love romance, don't get me wrong. I think romance is incredible. But yes, I got this book, The Silent Patient by Alex Michelides. And I'm probably butchering his name, but this was an incredible, thriller. I feel like a lot of times with books like these where there's a mystery, I'm always disappointed by the ending. I always think they're a great read throughout, but then the end, I'm always like, eh, could have been better. But this was incredible. I was absolutely gripped throughout. It's about this therapist who's seeing a patient at like a mental institution and she killed her husband and then she just stopped speaking and he's kind of trying to figure out the situation. So loved this book. Absolutely loved it. Also, I actually listened to that book on audiobook and I thought it was an incredible experience listening to it. So I'm eager to see how it'll be reading it instead of listening to it. And then actually this last book I also listened to on audiobook, which was phenomenal. And that was Fairy Tale by Stephen King. I listened to this while I was recovering from my eye surgery because I had nothing to do but to lay on the couch with my eyes closed for like three days. So I made my way through a fairy tale. I feel like I've talked about it recently. It is not a horror book, which Stephen King is known for and what I usually read from him, but this was such an epic book for me. And also in the audiobook, Stephen King himself has a cameo, which was just an amazing experience. But the reason that I wanted a hard copy of it is because there's actually little illustrations in the beginning of each chapter. Let me see if I can find one that's not a spoiler. So yeah, it is is incredible. I'm super excited to read it again and see the illustrations, but I literally just listened to this one, so I probably won't reread it for a while, but it was just so good. So yeah, those are all the books that I bought. And then I got a couple of other small things in PR. This is Tarazzo, which is their new topper, and it's literally matte flakes that are black, white, gray, and yellow, and it literally looks like flooring, <laughs> but in the best way. I think it's so cool. They just randomly dropped it and I was so excited to get it because I just love funky toppers like this. And they also sent a polish to go with it. This is Coffee Break. I don't know that I have this polish. It doesn't look familiar, but these two colors do look very pretty together. So I'll probably wear them together when I try it out. I just realized I look so pale. The, the lighting is not great <laughs> right now, but I, I am very pale. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I'm wearing lashes that have little gemstones on them. I don't know if you have been thinking this whole time that I just have stuff on my eyes, but it's little little gems because I thought that was so festive. They're from Kiss. I don't remember what they're called. I have the box over there, but I'll, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I just, ugh, how cute is that? It's so festive. But yeah, the last thing I got is from the brand Lanolips and this is the Hydrate and Glow Babies. So it's like a little mini pack of their lip balms and I use these all the time. I actually keep the strawberry one by my bed. Actually, I think I have the watermelon one by my bed. And then I have another one over here. This is the strawberry one. I have the strawberry one over here. I have a watermelon one by my bed. And this has been so good for my lips in the winter. So very excited. There's three different ones. They've got two of the 101 ointments, which I believe you can also use on your cuticles. Oh wait, there are all three of them are. This one's just a special packaging for the holidays, I guess. So they have coconutter, strawberry, 
And then I don't know what this rose gold one is scented like, but I don't wanna open it until I finish my other one. So very exciting. Thank you, Lana Lips, for sending me this. And also thank you, Killstar, for knowing that I exist because I'm a big fan. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the Black Friday haul. I'm going to organize all of this stuff because now I have made a mess of this room and then we can open up the advent calendars. It's already late afternoon, so I'm not going to drink the coffee today, but we can at least see what it is. By the way, yesterday's chocolate raspberry one was so good. That was definitely my favorite, or I don't know, was the coconut caramel my favorite? Those were definitely the top two, but but I think that one might have been my favorite because it tasted exactly like a truffle and I loved it. But yeah, so let me organize all this and then we'll pop over to the advent calendar corner. I also just asked on Instagram for people to send in questions for me, anonymous questions for a Q&A. So I'll probably do that tomorrow, but I think I might stick with the every other day for Vlogmas just because I am super busy with stuff right now. I am going to be taking a little bit of time off. So sorry, camera just died. I am gonna be taking a little bit of time off. So I've been filming my three videos a week, but then I'm also trying to pre-film videos. So when I take off, I don't just have nothing going up. I feel like a lot of days are on the more boring side, but when we have exciting stuff going on, I wanna bring you along. So I might do every other day Vlogmas, but I don't know. I might do every day, I might do every other day. Well, we'll see how each day goes, you know? Today's is I think we're at three days at this point because I just didn't vlog Vlogmas Day 7. So yeah, but thank you guys also for being patient. I did post yesterday my update sharing what was going on in my life and you guys are so supportive and incredible. And obviously I don't wish that other people are going through this experience, but in a weird way, it was comforting to hear a lot of you sharing similar sentiments just because, you know, it makes me feel less alone in that. So uh, thank you guys for sharing your stories. I really appreciate it. And thank you for being very very supportive of me. Like I said, there are good days and bad days and I'm trying to keep positive, but it is something that I have been struggling with. So I think this week I am going to renew my search for a therapist and see if I can talk it out with somebody. So stay tuned. Hopefully all good things will be happening, <laughs> but I do have very high hopes for 2024. So looking forward to that. Let me clean up and then I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, let's open up the advent calendars really quick. Ooh, I feel like you could see the sparkle on my lashes a little bit better in this lighting, but let me show you my coffee advent. Today is day nine, feeling fine. This is the coffee advent calendar that Ryan made me. And today we have, ooh, a cinnamon French toast. So that's a fun flavor. I'm not usually a cinnamon coffee person, but we've gotten a couple ones and I need to try them because it's been a long time since I've had cinnamon coffee. Coffee. Cadillacer advent calendar. We've got day nine and this one. Ooh, this one's called you're nothing to me until you're everything. It looks like a warmer toned jelly purple. And then we've got white hex glitters in super teeny tiny and also medium. And then we also have, it looks like a red flaky running throughout. So that's really gorgeous. It's kind of like a little plummy eggplant kind of vibe. This is so pretty. Oh wait, there might actually be a little bit of iridescence in here. Cause as I'm shifting it around, I can see the tiniest hint of green in there. I don't know. I love Cadillacer. They're so good. <laughs> and then let me pop open day nine on our Montevo Jangles calendar. Ooh, we've got a new flavor. It's called Chalky Scoffy. So we'll try this tonight, maybe after dinner. We are getting close to the time that I will be opening my 12 day advent calendar. So I'm very excited about that, but that's all I've got in advent calendars for now. I am a little cold, so I'm gonna pop on a sweatshirt and then I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner, but we do have the ingredients to make chicken marsala, but I'm also kind of in the mood for sushi. So maybe we'll go out for some sush. And also, I don't know if I've updated you, we still haven't used our fire pit yet. We realized we needed a few things for it. We needed a little mat for underneath it. And then we also obviously needed firewood. And then I bought a bunch of s'mores ingredients, but we don't want to use it until we buy a fire extinguisher because, you know, it's good to have that around. So we do need to pick up a fire extinguisher at some point, And then we can finally sit outside with a little fire. I am so excited to do that, but it might not happen tonight, but we'll see. I'll keep you updated. I might take off these lashes though, just because if I'm just going to be home the rest of the day, I'm probably not going to wear them. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hello, it's been a little while. We just took an adventure to a boba place called Seven Leaves. I got a jasmine tea with boba and it's delicious. But we also got some supplies for our fire pit that I don't think we're gonna use tonight because it's actually kind of freezing out. I know the fire would be warmer, but I don't know, like it might be too cold, but we'll see. So first and foremost, we got the most important thing, which is a fire extinguisher, which we didn't already have in our kitchen, which was a bad idea, but we have it now. I also got some regular lighters because we just have the little electric lighter and I feel like you kind of need one of these ones to start a fire pit fire. And then we also have some s'mores ingredients because obviously I want to make s'mores. We already got these. We didn't just get them, but I will show you. We got some giant marshmallows. We got graham crackers and we went name brand because nothing really beats honey made brand. And then we also got chocolate but they were on sale two for four. So we got two, but I thought the second one, it would be fun if we got the cookies and cream. And you know what I was thinking about? Nobody ever makes s'mores with like weird candies, but I feel like that should definitely be a thing, but nobody ever says it. So like, can you imagine making a s'more, but instead of a piece of Hershey's chocolate, it's like a Reese's cup. Wouldn't that be delicious? We're gonna start it with the cookies and cream, see if it's delish. And then maybe we can experiment with other kind of uh, candies. So, we are back now, it's, where's the clock? It's 5.30 <laughs> and I think we're going to make some chicken marsala tonight. So we bought very cheap marsala wine, just like cooking wine. And I think we're gonna make that. So maybe I'll show you a little bit of the process. We do a montage. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you when we do that. We made a lot of sauce. <laughs> But that's okay because I like a lot of sauce and we also made potatoes and I just want a lot of sauce for my potatoes but it tastes good. Mm -hmm. 